Hi guys, I'm back. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, so it's Thanksgiving Day in Canada, October 12th. It's Monday and it's a long weekend. So um, yeah, I'm ready. Tonight I'm going to a friend's house for dinner. And because of that, I'm going to cook something for tonight. So if you want to see how I cook my beef stew and dumplings, please keep watching. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Okay, so for the ingredients, I have 1 kg of uh, beef cubes for stewing, a few white button mushrooms, I don't know, I think it's less than 200 grams, and um, two medium, it's supposed to be two medium size of carrots, but it's because it's not really big, so I add in my leftover, my half leftover carrots, and three celery. Three stalks of celery and one big onion and two um, crushed garlic. And I'm gonna be using 796 ml of diced tomatoes. Um, one tablespoon of tomato paste. Two tablespoon of olive oil. 1 tablespoon of Italian herbs because I couldn't find the uh, mixed herbs and salt and black pepper to taste. So we're gonna add in the beef into our vegetables. <clears throat> okay. And so let's add in all the mixed herbs. Add in the chopped tomatoes or diced tomatoes. And add in two cups of water. We might need more water actually. This, the beef is quite a lot. Okay, so let's add more. Okay, so four cups. So you add water until it covers your vegetables and beef. Because you're gonna stewing it for one hour to one hour and a half or until your beef is getting soft so for the meantime we're gonna put the lid on and wait until it's boil and while waiting for the beef okay so we're gonna prepare our bread dough so I don't have bread dough. So if you don't have bread um, flour, I mean. So if you don't have bread flour, just use the all-purpose flour. So um, we're gonna be using four cups of all-purpose flour. And okay, so I have the eight. Eight cans of um, yeast. So for four cups of flour, we're gonna use three and a half 
300 ml of water, liquid water. So, 300 ml of water is one cup. Put a little bit of salt in our flour, just a tiny bit of salt. And so let's put that aside. We're gonna put add in the yeast into our lukewarm water and leave it for maybe two to five minutes until the yeast becomes frothy and it's ready to add in in our flour so let's just leave it let's put it aside okay guys our our yeast become froth, becomes frothy so it's ready to add in to our flour mix mixture I'm adding a tiny bit of water. of water we need 350 ml of So I'll be using this big wooden chopping board. Wow, it's really sticky. It sticks to my hand. So let's knead it until your dough is soft. This is it. So I'm gonna put this to a bowl. So cover, cover the bowl, cover your dough with cling wrap or a damp towel cloth. Cloth, you see. Okay. 
see it's covered by clear wrap and so we're gonna put this in the sink that's um, half full of hot water so let's run the hot water in our sink that's enough so half okay and then let's put the bowl of our dough in here okay so this is right so it's a bit floating and sometimes I just add a heavy object on top of the bowl Okay, and so let's leave our dough. So let's leave our bowl of dough in hot water for 45 minutes until the dough gets rice or uh, doubled up in size. So for the meantime, let's check our beef. Okay, so, all right, the beef is simmering. tablespoon of tomato paste Simmer it for one hour. Right. Okay, guys, after one hour, this is our beef. That's how it looks like. <clears throat> it's still simmering. So let's check whether it's soft or not. You know, sometimes it depends on the beef actually, even the meat. So it's soft now, but um, I still need to simmer it for maybe another 30 minutes. <clears throat> so I'm gonna simmer it without the lid. <laughs> because the sauce I ordered, the gravy, look at that, it's still saucy. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna simmer it for another maybe 20 to 30 minutes until the sauce becomes a little bit thick because this is still saucy. Okay, so while simmering it, we're going to check, we're going to check our bread. Alright right, guys, so the dough is ready. It doubles up in size so it's ready to knead okay. now I can save up the water for washing later it's mm -mm. okay so take the cling up off Alright guys, while the beef is still simmering, we are going to knead our dough into bread. Let's put a tiny bit of flour. Invest it with flour. And punch, punch the dough in the middle.
and okay kneaded and roll into a lock So let's cut the dough into half. Okay. Again, <clears throat> half. <clears throat> small it doesn't matter okay. so it makes into 12 dumplings it's good if they are equal in size but This one is a little bit big, so I'm gonna take some into that. Okay. Okay, so let's just need it. board is slippery. for the arm. Okay. So good. It's really tiring for the arms to do this. But it's a good exercise. not that easy to to like to knead the dough into like this because you have to use your this one the piece. and also like you're pushing it to make the dough firm okay, so let's leave them for 10 minutes to rise a little bit Obviously, they're not equal in size, but doesn't matter. I'm gonna try the taste. Okay. 
I need to season my salt and pepper. Guys, the taste is a little bit, um, just a tiny bit of sourness in it because of our tomato tomatoes. So, you know the secret when you're using the tomatoes is you add in a little bit of sugar. So I'm gonna use a teaspoon of brown sugar. maybe another five minutes we're gonna turn on the oven hey guys the beef is soft so let's transfer it to the rectangle baking dish Alright guys, this should be a little bit saucy. Okay, so let's arrange the bread on top. cheddar cheese on top of the bread so I'm gonna be using triple cheddar So let's put it in the oven and bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. It's really, it's really heavy. Okay, so I put the extra pan at the bottom because um, the tendency when it's, you know, while it's baking, the sauce might um, overflow. I don't know how to say. Oh. Alright guys, the dumplings are almost ready, so um, you have to check it, poke it with um, toothpick, pick up it from the oven, uh, poke it with a toothpick to try, whether to see whether the bread is cooked inside, so I don't have, I don't have a toothpick, I don't have a toothpick unfortunately, so I use that chopstick and uh, so it needs another one minute and it's ready I'm going to take it out from the oven after one minute okay so that's how it looks like okay guys so this is my beef stew and dumplings looks like so it's ready oh my gosh it's a really big portion I don't know how to carry it later or where to put it. I know one of my friends is gonna pick me up. So it's a bit heavy. And yeah, so that's it. Right guys, that's for uh, okay guys, that's how I make my beef stew and dumplings.
so we only have one hour left to get ready and my friends are gonna pick me up and uh, so I'm going to make a shout out so shout out to my cousin um, Eric Pitelia and also some of my friends are always um, supporting uh, me to watch my videos so Lita Tihiro from you know now she's already in Philippines but uh, she's she was working in Singapore and uh, yeah uh, shout out to Leticia Dinaget who always watch and uh, give comments to my videos watch up to Joy Bihag uh, she also has her own channel and uh, so just click and follow her and uh, subscribe to their channels and uh, yeah so also shout out to my family and friends and my ne uh, nieces so Maggie Baltasar and Trishaline Baltasar Angel who always um, share my videos and to this to their circle of friends hello Sainio and uh, thank you so much um, to all my subscribers OFW family uh, youtubers thank you thank you so much so yeah so happy Thanksgiving there are a lot of reasons to thank for for this year despite of Thank you so much. Bye.